Greetings everybody, this is the Spider 5. This has the Pro software installed on it, and today I'm going to share with you what I do when I first get my laptop when I'm calibrating the panel, or in this case, in the Electronics Mix 15, I have put a 120 hertz display in here, and now it's time to calibrate that display. So the first thing you want to do is follow the instructions on screen. Warm up the display for a half hour, make sure you dial in your lighting conditions, you, of course, want to make sure that you reset all your controls on your monitor. A lot of times, laptops, this won't apply. And desktop cases, this is definitely something you would want to do with your desktop monitor. All this is very self-explanatory. Plug in your Spider 5, and this thing's going to come apart, and it's going to drape itself over the top of the display. So let's go ahead and proceed by hitting Next. In this case, we can select desktop or laptop. Laptop has already been selected for us. And the laptop model, Mech 15. Now in this case, this is very generic. You can put whatever you want here. This is just so you can remember. So we'll go ahead and hit next. All right, so now we have this computer has been calibrated before, so it's asking if I want to recalibrate with the current display, check the calibration, or in this case, do a full calibration, which is exactly what I want to do because we have a new panel inside. Okay, place spider here. So I'm literally going to drape this over and let it hang here. Now. It kind of floats here, and it's very interesting. You want to make sure that it's pressed up against the panel. It's resting, so I'm going to pull this forward a little bit, and I'm just going to recline the laptop back ever so slightly. And as chintzy as this looks, it's literally just going to rest here. Now it's resting comfortably up against the display. This is the light source. You want to stay away from that. And when I'm doing this, I'm just going to sit very still. I'm not going to move. I'm going to hit next. And for time's sake, we will fast forward through this as quickly as possible. So while this is happening, let me take a few moments here to talk about the Spider 5. There's three versions of this, but the hardware on all of them is the same. The difference ultimately is just the software. And I recommend the Pro model. It's the one right in the middle. This is what was recommended to me. And it just allows me a little bit of versatility. Of course, I have this on many different laptops. This will come with a key. Make sure you save that key. But I've had no problem pulling the software off of a system and putting it on every single laptop that I've covered so far. I've calibrated it. I have not run out of uh, usage or anything like that. You know, a lot of times if you have like Windows or Office, you're only allowed to put that on so many machines. I have calibrated dozens of laptop panels with this so far and I haven't come across any issues. So I'm very grateful for that. That is tied to my main account that I log in with on Windows. So perhaps there's something there that allows me to continue to use this. Hopefully that makes sense. But as far as ultimately a tutorial of this particular device, there's really not much to it. You buy it, you open it up, you install the key, after you download the software, it is super easy to do. And then the meat and potatoes of it is what you see right here. You just fire up the software, plug in the Spider 5, and it's just gonna ask you a few questions, make sure you have a few things set up correctly, and press next, 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 enter, and you're rocking and rolling here. This is gonna take probably five to seven minutes to do a full calibration. Now I have noticed on particular devices that are uh, high in color gamut, it does take a little bit longer to calibrate versus some that I've covered with like 60 something percent standard RGB. The calibration process goes by a lot quicker. Okay, measurement complete. Let's go ahead and click finish and then we can get a good grip on the comparison. All right, this is a preview of the new display profile. Let's go ahead and switch this back to the uncalibrated one. Looking at the calibrated view, much warmer. This had a very cold look to it. That is fantastic. Beautiful. So 
So with this particular display, we've got 100% standard RGB. Oh my goodness, that is glorious. 87% NTSC and 89% Adobe RGB. Link in the description below, everybody, for the panel used in today's calibration. Woo, 120 hertz, that is fantastic. As well as the Spider 5 Pro. I hope you enjoyed this video, a very short and brief uh, calibration tutorial for you. Keep this in mind though, as well as every content creator out there that does calibration to the display. When you consider purchasing one of these laptops and your favorite uh, influencer or content creator is posting what they have found as the calibration of that particular display, a lot of times that's post calibration, okay? So basically, you might want to consider getting one of these and or also take some of this calibration with a, a grain of salt. In today's video, the calibrated display versus the factory was a huge difference. And a lot of times in most of the laptops that I have covered, the difference has been noticeable, but yet far more subtle. So uh, keep that in mind too. Don't feel completely obligated to get yourself one of these, but please make note that we do calibrate these for a reason. And it's just the way that it is. We do put these panels uh, with their best foot forward. So ultimately you can see the potential of the particular product that you have your eye on. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Bob Voltrades. Peace out.